Hi, this is Sebastian KB0TTL. Today we're going to go over your DV Mega Hotspot Plug and Play Bundle and the talk groups that are programmed into it. We're going to go over some options here with you as to what uh, talk groups you can get programmed into your DV Mega Bundle by us and then how to use your Plug and Play Bundle, how to navigate the talk groups on your new Plug and Play Bundle. We're going to go over to our computer now, and I'm going to show you the details. Today we're going to go over the way that your channels are programmed into your radio for your DV Mega Hotspot Bundle. Notice how we have 12 channels currently programmed um, into this radio that is on our DV Mega Hotspot. Uh, we have our statewide channel, and you can select up to three statewide channels. Uh, with your DV Mega Hotspot bundle that we'll go ahead and put in here. Um, this user has New York as their statewide uh, channel. Uh, we also program in 11 other uh, commonly used or popular channels um, for DMR on the Brandmeister network. We have our Mega USA channel, which is a nationwide channel. We have our tech channels, which are basically calling channels for here in the United States. We have our worldwide channel, which is almost always busy. If you want action basically 24-7, um, the worldwide channel is a good, good place to go. We also have the worldwide English channel for English speaking nations, typically used also a very, very busy channel. We have the North American region channel. Uh, we also have the parrot tool. Uh, what the parrot tool basically is, is whatever you say on this channel, it repeats back to you. So not only can you test your uh, connection to the Brandmeister network, as well as the functionality of your radio and hotspots, uh, but you can also check your audio quality as well uh, by using the parrot function. If you were to key up on the parrot function, give your call sign, basically you'd then hear a recording of yourself giving your call sign. So a very nice little tool to use there as well. Um, we have our net channels, and of course we have our statewide channel, which I was just showing you. And then we have another essential tool here, which is Talk Group Disconnect. Um, basically, you're going to use this almost every time you use your hotspot. Suppose you were to key up on the worldwide channel and do a little bit of talking. Um, in order to disconnect from the worldwide channel, you would then go ahead and select your Talk Group Disconnect channel on the front panel of your radio and key up. This will disconnect you from the worldwide or whatever talk group you were on. And then from there, you would simply go ahead and key up again on a new talk group of your choice. Suppose you wish to go ahead and add um, a few talk groups here. Notice how, first of all, your statewide talk group is set for state of New York. Suppose you wanted to change what state or what talk group that channel was set for. You can select from your talk group list, which we pre-program into your radio. So say you wanted to switch that over to Colorado, you could simply select Colorado if you wanted. Right now we're going to leave that on New York because I'm going to show you something else here that you could do in this case. Um, easy enough actually to go ahead and add um, another talk group channel. We're just going to go ahead and copy an existing one here and then go ahead and paste to the line below. So we have a direct copy here of talk group disconnect for the talk group. We're just going to go in here and change from talk group disconnect to some other talk group. Like say you wanted um, Colorado or California or some other talk group here. If you wanted California, we'll just go ahead and select California. And we're just going to change the name. Statewide California. And there you have the exact same settings and you now have statewide California programmed um, into your radio as well. Um, this would also work if you wanted to go ahead and add a local repeater, a local digital repeater, but just by copying and pasting. Instead of the simplex frequency that you're using for your DV Mega, you'd go ahead and put in your frequency pair for the digital repeater that you want to communicate with. Um, you would go ahead and select what talk group you want for that channel. Note that on your digital repeaters and on your hotspots, you're going to have to enter one channel per talk group that you want to use. So if you want to use 50 different talk groups on a repeater, you're going to program in 50 different channels for that repeater. The same is true of your hotspot. 
If you're using a digital repeater instead of your hotspot, make sure that you also have the appropriate color code and time slot for the repeater that you're going to use. And you'll also want to toggle your transmit power to either high or turbo, uh, depending on how far away that repeater is from you, and possibly use a higher gain antenna to reach out a little bit further with your handheld for repeater operation. So that we have uh, covered your digital hotspot, your talk groups, how to program in an additional uh, channel uh, for your hotspot, or how to potentially go ahead and enter in a digital repeater channel. We'll, we'll go ahead and let you have at it. I thank you for watching and enjoy your plug and play bundle. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, 73.